This is Kristen from KristenCoaching.com and thank you so much again for joining me for this video today. We're going to be talking about when your husband ignores you and why that happens and what you can do about it. Um, it can be really lonely and painful when you have a spouse or a significant other or a husband, whoever it is, anybody that you're in a relationship with, ignoring you on purpose and giving you, you know, the silent treatment. Um, I do have another video that has to do with the negative effects of the silent treatment in relationships. If you find yourself in this type of a situation that seems to happen over and over again, I really want you to know the negative impacts that it can have on the relationship because there are so many and it's not healthy. So please click on that video so you can see that. Um, basically in this video today, we're going to be focusing more on what it means when your husband ignores you and how to address it essentially. Um, so basically, you know, ignoring happens for a couple reasons. A main one is if you just got in a fight and your husband doesn't want to talk to you. So ignoring can happen uh, usually in that type of a setting. Or maybe if your husband is upset about something and they just are upset and they don't want to talk to you about it. Uh, again, whatever it is, it's the sense of feeling you know, isolated and alone. And a lot of times women can be left, uh, and men, left be feeling really confused about, um, you know, I don't know what happened, I don't know why my husband is acting this way, um, but it can be really, really frustrating and um, it's hard. So I wanted to create this video on ways to really understand why it happens and what to do. So basically, ignoring essentially um, is, can be looked at as a pretty like passive aggressive way uh, to deal with issues. And a lot of times people don't want to deal with it in terms of confronting it and labeling it and having that communication. So people tend to be what I call passive aggressive where they are very upset about something, but they act like nothing's wrong. So they just are silent and they don't talk about it. That ultimately does not help solve the problem at all. It just creates, um, you know, the problem to continue. And it creates the person who is affected by the silent treatment. It makes that person feel really uh, unhappy and worried and a lot of, you know, anxiety comes and a lot of frustration and anger. And ultimately, you're not getting to the root of the problem. I really want to make the distinction, however, between um, when your husband ignores you versus, you know, your husband or yourself taking space after an argument or just taking space in general. Um, there's a huge difference because let's say an argument happens and your husband is like, hey, I need I need some time alone. I need to I need to think and regroup. That's 100 percent different because you guys had communication. He let you know what he needed. And ideally, you want to establish a time limit or not a limit, but a time of how much time he needs to be alone to process his thoughts. And then the plan is that you guys can come back afterwards and address it being ignored in the first place, there's no communication and there's no plan to work on it until further notice, okay? So there's a, there's a big difference and it's really healthy to be able to say, hey, I need some space, I need some time alone to process and think about some things, let's talk later, you know, when I'm ready or whatever. That's huge, that's a huge relationship skill to use and I commend you for doing that if you guys are doing that in your relationship. But if you're just ignoring without communicating, um, it is not, it's not healthy and it doesn't solve anything. So there's a lot of reasons why people do it, but essentially it really is to avoid situations or a lot of times it can be to um, make your partner feel bad um, and that's not good either. And that also could be a sign of emotional abuse if you are doing the silent treatment too often. And I have another video about signs of emotional abuse that I want you to look at if, that, if you think that that relates to your relationship. So what do you do? So let's say that your husband is ignoring you and you're not sure what to do. Well, the first thing to do is address the behavior. You have to label it. If you keep you know, going and allowing the silence to happen, who knows how long that could go for. And it's important that your husband or your partner knows um, what he or she is doing and it's, it's a way to engage with communication and let him know that, hey, I, 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 hear, I see that you're not talking to me and talk about how it impacts you. And it's really making me feel sad and disappointed because I wanna engage with you and I wanna resolve this problem you know and i really hope that you will be able to um speak with me about it so we don't have to continue to not talk something like that you want to label the behavior and discuss the impact 
that is the most important thing to do when it comes to the silent treatment. Letting it go on and on and on, it's not gonna solve anything. Now again, if your partner needs some time to be alone for a little bit, that's great. Have him explain that though and have him communicate that with you. That's the key. It's all about engaging in the communication and coming up with a plan that both of you are on are on and, and agree on um, and making sure not one person is in the dark about something. So that's really how to address it is to confront it at hand and talk about the impact that it's having on you. And then hopefully you guys can re-engage in a dialogue and figure out the root of the issue and why the person was ignoring in the first place and try to resolve it together as a team. If you guys have any questions or comments about how to do that, uh, please write me and I'll go back to you as soon as I can on that. And I will see you guys next time for my next video. Thanks for joining. Bye.